Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to explore the different data types in Python. Understanding data types is crucial because they determine the kinds of operation you can perform on data. So let's dive in and learn about the various data types available in Python. So, so first we will discuss what is data type. Data types specify the types of value that a variable can hold. Python has a several built-in data types that can be categorized into different group like numeric sequence mapping and more so first we will discuss about numeric data types so in numeric data types we have integer and float so first i will create python file so the name will be data type dot py hit enter so here i will create integer data type integers are whole numbers without any decimal point so for example a is equal to 10 this is a integer data type so after this i will discuss about float so float are number with decimal point so here i will create float data type is equal to 4.9 now i will print this so print hit enter brackets and uh, a comma b now i will run this on terminal so right click run python and run python file in terminal so you can see here 10 and 4.5 is printed after this we will discuss sequence data type in sequence data types we have string list and tuples so what is string strings are sequence of characters enclosed in single or double quotations here i will create a string so name is equal to double quotation and uh, here i will write a name so mars after this we will create list data types so list are ordered collections of items which can be different types and close in sequence brackets for example i will create a variable for fruit fruits is equal to brackets and double quotation apples comma banana comma and uh, cherry now i will print this here I will write print and uh, brackets name comma fruits hit enter control s now I will run this on terminal so, so you can see the name and the fruit list is printed now after this I will create tuple so tuples are order collection of items similarly to list but they are immutable cannot be changed after creating so here I will create a tuple so for tuple we use a variable name coordinate is equal to two brackets 10.0 comma 20.0 now I will print this so print hit enter brackets and uh, coordinates control s now i will run this on terminal so run python file in terminal so you can see the coordinates is printed after this we have our data types mapping data types so in mapping data types we have a directory data type so what is directory data type directory data types are collection of key value pairs they are unordered and mutable data type so here i will create an example for directory data type so student is equal to curly braces and uh, double quotation name comma name colon double quotation and uh, zubair comma age semicolon 25 comma double quotation grade semicolon and uh, a now i will run this on browser hit enter and print Hit enter brackets and uh, here I will give variable name student. Now I will run this on terminal. Run Python file in terminal. So you can see here is printed student directory. Now after this we will discuss about set data types. So set are unordered collections of unique items. For example, colors is equal to curly braces, red, comma blue comma and green i will print this so print colors now i will run this 
so you can see it is in an order because here i will create red blue green when i print so it changes the order so blue green and red that's why it's called an order data type after this we will discuss boolean data types so boolean represent one of two value true or false so here i will create code is equal to true hit enter now i will print this so print hit enter square bracket and pull and i will run this on terminal so you can see the true is printed after this we have lost data types conversion in type conversion we can convert between different data type using type conversion function so here i will create type conversion function int square bracket float square bracket and uh, str for string square bracket list square bracket and uh, tuple square bracket and set square bracket and last directory so for directory we have dict square brackets so on this function we can convert between different data types so that's it that's on data types in python understanding these basic data types is essentially for any python programming as they from foundation of how data is stored and manipulated in your program if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more programming tutorials thank you for watching and see you in the next video